Hey guys, welcome back. This is my first official video for YouTube besides my little welcome intro that I did. So if you've been following me for any length of time on my blog or just Instagram, you know that H&M is one of my favorite stores to shop. Um, so this is what I got for November. I think everything was under $50 except one of the sweaters. So I'm just gonna kinda go through each piece and talk about the fabric and let you guys see it up close and also how I might style it or if I already did style it, I'm gonna sneak some photos from my blog or Instagram on there. And I um, also wanna mention that if you're interested in shopping any of these items, they are all linked below. So check underneath the video and I'm also going to put what size I'm wearing there so you have a reference. All right, so first up is this ruffle blouse. Um, it retails for $39.99, and it actually also comes in a, a long maxi dress form, so it's literally like this top with a long skirt if you're more into dresses. Just thought I'd mention that. But anyway, I really love the romantic style of this blouse um, and the dark colors, which make it really perfect for fall. And it's like a silky, sheer fabric. Kind of see in the light. Um, so, I don't know. You might want to wear a camisole under it. I just wore a black bra and it was fine. But it's totally up to you. Um, it is a cropped length. So, it's really great with high-waist jeans. Or like a high-waist skirt. So, I'm wearing it here with a coated denim skirt and some scrunched boots. So, that would be really fun for date night. Um, you could also wear it with, like I mentioned, high waist jeans and some sock boots or even like um, skinny jeans with some over the knee boots and it would be really cute. But this is a size two. And next up we have this knit mohair blend sweater. This was the most expensive item I got and it was still only $59.99. So I really, really like the fit of this sweater. It has like a wide boat neck and kind of a slouchy fit. So it looks great with literally anything you wear it with. Um, I wore it recently on my blog with a draped floral skirt that I'm gonna talk about as well. I also got in this haul. Um, I added some over the knee boots, but this, like I said, looks so good with jeans too. Any type of denim you put it with. It's just a great basic to have and it comes in multiple colors. So you can see the sleeve has like a blouson type fit or detail I guess you would say. Um, and it's also not itchy. I want to mention that too because sometimes the mohair blend sweaters can be kind of scratchy to me but this one feels fine so one of the best things that I got for sure. Next up is this floral draped little mini skirt. This is what I was wearing with the um, black mohair sweater that I just talked about. This was $49.99 and it has a zip closure in the back and a little um, tiny button with a hook there so it stays put. But this is just really fun um, for fall, especially with over the knee boots since it's a mini skirt. I love the little cascade like ruffle detail right here. And I really like the dark floral print because it speaks to fall and winter really well. Besides like the oversized sweater I wore it with, you could put this with a um, bodysuit and it would be perfect or like a fitted turtleneck. Um, I could also see this like with a leather jacket over top. Um, just like a lot you can do with it surprisingly. Um, but since it is a floral print, I would probably personally go with like a solid color on top. But you could certainly, you know, try mixing it with stripes if you're like a fan of pattern mixing. Next up is this knit turtleneck. It retails for $34.99 and it has a tunic length. So 
This sweater is one that I would not do a front tuck with like I do with most of my sweaters, but I would wear it with leggings or skinny jeans. So you can see how I wore it with some Western boots and a fedora and just for a cute, simple fall look. But like I said, you could also try it with like leather um, leggings and that would also be super cute too. So next up is this checked shirt dress. This was $24.99 and I got this because I could see so many different possibilities as far as layering. Um, so it is a thin fabric, um, so it is easy to layer with. The fabric is not flannel, although it looks like flannel, it's like a soft twill. Um, so I wore it recently on my blog with a long gray cardigan and I added a belt on top. But, and that was like a brown gray mix, but you could also go with black because there is black in the print. So it's just like a really versatile color combination, I think. And I also want to mention at the sleeve, there is a little tiny button and hook. So if you don't like to roll the sleeves, it will stay and it kind of gives it like a little blue sun effect so that's cute but um, I also want to mention this did run a little big I took my usual size but I probably could have gone down one but for me that didn't really make too much of a difference because I like to put a belt around it anyway but just wanted to mention that Okay, ponchos are always a must for me during fall. So when I saw this one for $24.99, I had to get it. Um, it is very, very soft, and it has a fringe detail at the bottom. And it, it just kind of drapes over anything. There's no kind of closure to this. It's very simple. Um, very simple design, but it's super soft, and because you can just drape it over anything, it also makes a really good travel piece. So I could totally see myself taking this like on a flight or something. Um, I recently wore it with a denim shirt and some leather leggings. So that was kind of more like street style but you could also do the classic tee riding boots combo and that's also um, cute for fall too so a gray poncho is just one of those standards that I think is going to be in style no matter what year it is and this one's a really good price point Next is one of the very best things that I got from this haul. Um, it cable knit turtleneck sweater. And you guys know I'm a sucker for neutrals. So anytime I see something camel or beige or gray, I want it. Um, and this one is also like a mohair blend, but again, not itchy. I've worn it with nothing underneath. I usually use like a camisole or a tank or something but I actually wore it by itself and it did not um, feel itchy. So that was a huge plus. I like the loose neck of this. It folds over nicely and it has these nice cozy wide sleeves and it does well with a front tuck because it's not too long. So this I wore recently with some straight leg jeans and sock boots, but you could also wear this with um, skinny jeans and some over the knee boots or riding boots, and you just can't go wrong. This is a classic piece. Um, I also really like the cable knit detail. It makes it look more expensive than it is, which by the way, the price was $49.99. So for a sweater of this quality, I think that was um, very fair. And I recently wore that sweater on my blog with this skirt, which is a houndstooth pattern. Um, by the way, this skirt was $17.99, so 
amazing price point for um, the quality. It is just a pull-on style. There's no zipper or anything, um, so it's stretchy. But it also comes in black. I chose this because of the hound's tooth print, but the tie detail makes it um, fun and gives it kind of more of an on-trend look. Um, but anyway, I wore it with that cable knit sweater that I just mentioned and some riding boots. And last but not least is this knit cardigan that I've been wearing for the video. This was also part of my haul and it was under $40. So um, this has my favorite detail for this fall the moment I'm loving the blue sun sleeves. So it kind of folds down like that. Um, it's an open style, hits me below the knee. Um, you can see how I wore it with the checked dress here recently on my blog. So just a great standard lay layering piece um, that can, you can wear with basically anything. So that was my H&M haul for November. Um, I hope you guys found this helpful. Um, if there's anything else that you'd like me to share in the next haul video that I do, please let me know in the comments. Don't forget everything that I'm wearing or talking about in this video is linked below. So um, if you want to shop, it's all there as well as the size that I'm wearing so you have a reference. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you will be back for my next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.